Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this trade recap. How to day trade any market. In today's video, I'm going to be going uh, through step by step four wins that I took for four trades on the NQ for a $1,000 day. Now, <laughs> I produce videos there for a $500 a day challenge. Some traders say it's not enough, others say it's plenty. If a thousand's not enough for you a day, you just increase your position size you add more contracts now what I do cover with you today is you can apply to any market whether it be futures Forex or stocks the exact same concepts and rules apply but something that is very very important this will probably be one of the most important videos you watch or ever watch on day trading so many people truly can't handle the truth that is I'll talk to you about money management and a couple of critical factors stay to the end and watch it unfortunately there's so many videos on YouTube and so much stuff on Google whereby you can go and make a small fortune overnight I say get rich slowly everyone wants to see the view from the top of the mountain but so few are willing to do the work to climb to the top of that mountain in other words there are steps that we need to take there are rules that we need to follow day trading is not rocket science it's about pattern recognition now in this video I'm going to be showing you some of these patterns and a couple of patterns that even members have identified as absolute winners so I'm going to explain those to you as well so we'll probably go for maybe 30 40 minutes on this uh, video so first of all let's see I need to click on that first so first of all we do need to get the disclaimer over and done with traders there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and the great benefit with virtually every trading platform now is you can start on a simulator uh, before you even start trading live and of course now you can even start trading micro contracts or you can start on Forex with the micros so you there's lots of options there for you to start small and I'm going to be showing you by the way how to do that uh, realistically and sensibly so today we're going to be looking at 20 minutes of scalping day trading the NQ in fact I was more scalping the NQ now scalping really means that we're after a small profit in and out in and out usually we're after a fixed target when you're day trading you may choose to stay in a position longer you may even choose to trail where I prefer to get that cash register ringing uh, in and out in and out that's my preference so on this particular day it was 1140 before commissions 1056 after commissions so first of all we're going to be just just a couple of emails from members because we are going to be looking at the NQ now the baby to the NQ is the micro NQ which is 10% of the value and here we've got uh, Ali's been a member for years as he says here I'm sticking to the micro NQ four point for now and loving it and here trading the uh, uh, the 21b 72% win rate and uh, now this is Gee, going back a couple of years ago now uh, he's advanced a long way since then but not as high as the 34 B's which are 85 percent on the same market still not too shabby now uh, Ali by the way went on from there and a year or so later uh, I have a, a, a trade setup I call the pivot magnet trade it kicks butt and as Ali identified he put together and I'll show you his email on this in a moment but he even put together a complete PowerPoint which uh, all of our members now have but as he also pointed out there um, I sent him an email how are you going with the t28 I actually call it the pivot magnet he gave it the code of t28 as he says here it stays at 85 95 percent win-loss ratio not too bad please share with members it's only a formalization of my strategy so it kicks butt so you can use the exact same strategy on the NQ as well and just one more here on the NQ which I thought is really important because 
to start trading the NQ correctly you really do need to have three to four thousand dollars in your account I know brokers will tell you you've got the five hundred dollar a day day trading margins and yes you might choose to go and continually top up your trading account but hey we're in this business long term which means we don't want to risk any more than two percent per trade and as you're about to see in a moment on the NQ okay it um, you, you do need to be allowing for at times a 70 to 80 dollar stop loss so the micro while you build your account or trading the micro is a really good alternative now the reason this is important here is that um, Franz identified um, uh, something that I point out all the time but he teaches that, that what I teach all members as he says here first of all thank you for the trading and coaching programs made a real difference but you always teach us that trading is a pattern solving exercise and that's what it is patterns repeat each and every day and what Franz has identified uh, that a pattern formation that forms every day during the Globex hours now the reason this is important the Globex hours is the after hours market so after New York closes uh, the Globex market opens at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time now where it's a fantastic market for many traders one if you're based in the US uh, you get home from work you can actually start trading uh, you can master the art of trading before you give up your day job and as he says here with this pattern you can uh, achieve $50 uh, daily uh, $50 daily target very easily with one contract now you may say 50 bucks why would even bother traders that's $500 easily on the big contract okay so remember the big contract is 10% now he then has identified some of the other trades that I've got here and he's just fine-tuned a couple of things which are really interesting here and uh, once again another member that prepared a whole uh, a complete PowerPoint and as he says here a complete perfect pattern daily targets can easily be achieved so we'll talk about targets so my target is on the NQ the time frame I'm going to be showing you is $200 plus per day per contract and the reason that the the daily figure will vary depends on the time frame because the higher the time frame the larger my stop loss the more capital I've got tied up the larger return so I'm going to quickly show you that and once again you can go back and rewatch this video if some of it doesn't sink in initially and that's not meant to be um, condescending by the way but if you're a newer trader okay but this ain't rocket science so a couple of things very very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my ebook for truth about day trading please click on the link below to get a hold of that copy better still become a member for $197 you receive my entire program all of my setups are in now literally there's there's probably a hundred hours of recorded sessions now plus all my indicators are free even if you've got a trading platform that you use or like Sierra charts for an example uh, I give you all the settings so that you can set up just about every indicator I use you can set up on any trading platform make no mistake traders this will be the last program you ever invest in for only $197 now even more importantly I have a bonus going at the moment and this will be over in a sec where you can also attend eight of my live and recorded coaching sessions are included uh, in the 197 so I run both the live trading room three sessions a week and I run a coaching session two hour coaching sessions twice a week so that's normally $97 a month so you can attend the first month free if you choose after that you want to continue which hundreds do you can then just um, drop me an email and I'll send you the paperwork and you can keep attending at 97 so all of that for only 97 197 and the link is below let's now move on so why the NQ now I used to find the NQ very very challenging to trade 
and I then changed my approach to it only recently thanks to a couple of things some of our members were doing because in the end traders is many markets you can trade okay you've got oil you've got uh, the ES you've got gold you've got you know there's just so many you know there's, there's there's literally dozens of them then you got the Forex markets but one thing about the NQ is you get a great daily range much better than anything else in fact the ES which so many traders are familiar with if you hold an overnight position you basically need to have twelve thousand dollars if you hold an overnight position with the Nasdaq you need eighteen thousand now let's remember we're day traders we don't hold overnight positions but why then on the Nasdaq do we need 18,000 compared to 12 it's because you've got much greater volatility now the day trading margins are much lower you only need 500 on the ES and 1000 now that's a bit too low for the time frames we trade however if you're not cashed up and say if you've only got four or five hundred dollars you can start on the micro contract which is 10% of the value of the big contracts so that's a fantastic thing that come in a couple of years ago now so the nasty NAS because it can be a bit like a wild dog at times okay uh, um, or we can reframe it and call it the nifty NAS so this, the real secret is is the time frame that you trade and we'll talk about that um, uh, in a moment now here's one of the big benefits as I was just mentioning between the ES so this is 20 minutes of trading we're going to go through and look at these on the chart so I've just taken a screenshot here for you so this was actually 20 minutes of price action look how many candles we had on the four tick okay so this is when what what the four tick actually means each one of these and I know they're Renko they're actually called bricks but I just call them candles so each one of those is four ticks or $20 okay and each little step you see down which is half of those bricks is worth $10 so each brick is basically $20 there but look how many you had form uh, and this by the way is at um, uh, 1 a.m. Central Standard Time so this is before the London open so remember the market opens at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern or 5 p.m. Central so you can start trading if you wish from 5 p.m. Central there is one little drawback with this market if you wanted to trade 50 contracts yes there's a problem with what we call liquidity you won't have that problem on the micro by the way but on the big contract you will but realistically most traders are only going to trade 1 to 20 contracts maximum during the globe session but let's compare how much price action we have there compared say to the ES now each one of these uh, candles here is what we call two ticks okay which is um, uh, $25 it's $12.50 a tick $25 candles look how few compared to $20 um, candles on the Nasdaq compared to this on the ES so the you get much greater whoops much greater volatility uh, which is fantastic for scalpers and day traders now the big question is and of course and just for if you're a newer trader you can trade the futures markets basically 23 hours a day five days a week they close the markets for about an hour while they do a computer reboot and away you can go now if you're trading Forex it's 24 5 of course it's that extra hour but um, uh, we're just going to focus today on the futures so the big question is which is the best time frame to trade and it really comes down to whichever time frame is tradable whichever is slow enough for an example we have members that are trading one and two tick time frames on Renko on the NQ it's incredibly fast and you've got to really be good at that I personally found it was choking up my computer and just too fast for me just didn't work and and why and by the way one of the benefits is of trading the two tick you've got a much smaller stop loss 
which means a much smaller account size is required so there are some great benefits disadvantages are as I mentioned uh, but also then you get a lot more noise today we're going to be looking at the four tick now these middle ones these middle figures so I'm using a four tick uh, Renko 7 and a 12 so this is my anchor chart 1 and anchor chart 2 now one of the the, the, the biggest mistakes that traders make is failing to look at a higher time frame and trade in the direction of a higher time frame so after it doesn't take too long you know give you've got to give yourself that three or four months to really get used to looking at the charts unfortunately as I mentioned you know everyone thinks they can walk into this and start making a fortune within a week or two or they want to have it mastered in a week or two traders we're dealing against traders that have been doing this for you know 30 40 years I've been doing it now for 28 years and I still learn something new virtually every day you know it's and it and it's exciting it's great fun and if you like learning this is really good and it ain't rocket science however you've got to give yourself a bit of time so you'll pick up what these are now if the four ticks too fast we jump up to the 8 12 I'm not interested in trading the 16 tick because my stop loss gets too big okay and I'll show you where I like to put my stop loss when we get to the charts now if you like tick charts during the globe session, maybe a 50 and an 89 tick and once you start to um, things heat up in the New York session you're going to and these are really New York time frames okay so once we move out of the after hours market into the New York New York market we need to have these now if of course if you're brand new to trading and should you become a member of mine of course we cover all of this in the coaching sessions and on the videos and all that sort of thing now today we're going to be focused on the four tick now I'm actually recording this at uh, what time is it it's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time and it's 11 a.m. down under here in Australia at the moment so I'm down here in Australia at the moment so um, uh, so my computer is set to US time so the, the great benefit now the four tick is, is just trending along nicely and we'll look at potential trades that there's been probably I'll go here if there hasn't been at least 15 20 trades in the last two hours the market's been open uh, actually three hours my apologies so I'm recommending here we can go for a larger stop loss okay which means we'd need four thousand dollars or four hundred if we're starting on the micro contract I'm here going to be assuming and the way I've I've traded it I only need three and a half thousand dollars per contract okay now I'm trading five lots now the maximum risk you ever want to have is two percent that's why you need that yes you can risk five percent but you are going to blow your account at some time okay um, uh, trading is very unforgiving okay the trading gods come and drain your bank accounts so it's very important if you don't have the right the correct amount to start with you start on the micro and build and I'll show you how easy that is in a moment and what I'm after is between what I call five and six steps okay um, like five by five will net me two hundred dollars per contract quite easily now you can go for larger targets and when you're going to go for a larger target is if you're say targeting a pivot or you're happy to go for a spend more time in a trade as a scalper that's not for me but this is sort of beyond today's session but very quickly here's what it means bottom line now I know some of you eyes are glazing over just get to the charts get, but this is important that you, you you have a goal a target because it's more important to have a compelling future show me a person with a compelling future and I'll show you a person that will find a way of getting there now if you start off with three and a half thousand dollars on a four tick Renko so we need that sort of account size we target 200 a day so three and a half thousand it means that within 11 weeks you've got the potential there of being earning ten thousand dollars each and every week your account size is also now uh, forty four thousand dollars now with that your goal might only be two thousand a week it might be twenty thousand a week 
okay and it caps it out down here at 100 contracts now once you give by the way once you get above 50 lots you need to talk to your broker and negotiate a couple of things there on holding funds and things like that uh, but down here this is a true potential you started off with three and a half and how this works it's very conservative that is you're earning your two hundred dollars a day thousand a week and you're leaving it in your account and it's only when you double your money you go from three and a half thousand to seven do you start trading a second contract oh, and by the way you can get hold of this spreadsheet by clicking on the link below so you can actually get this in a little training video okay so and you focus on one trade at a time now to get there all I need is four six step trades a day which is what I'm about to show you that's all you need to get there so um, list your commissions. so your commissions typically on the NQ with my broker are around uh, the four dollar eighteen mark okay um, some brokers are six dollars and commissions are very important when you're starting to trade larger amounts now so if we look at this here once again by 11 weeks up to 11 weeks we're up to our 10 grand a week and our account has grown that's the fact behind this now I can give you ridiculous compounding charts and show you can do this in three weeks but you know what you want to build your account you want to build your confidence and your competence now we can look at it another way even if you've got five ten fifteen twenty thousand you hear me say this on every video consider starting on the micro cut your teeth on the micro make every mistake you're going to make on a small account and after four or five weeks of on the micro you might be ready already to jump up then to the big contract but here in this case if you start off on the micro and go for twenty dollars a day basically ten percent of the value in 16 weeks your account is now up to four thousand four hundred you can now switch over to the big contract and trade that okay so here we start with 350 and we're building now down here where it says 100 micros in fact you would never be trading 100 micros the commissions uh, on micros are around a dollar 22 now what that means is for 10 micros you'd be t you'd be basically paying twelve dollars twenty where the normal commission is four dollars eighteen and uh, so you're paying basically what's that three times the amount and that actually has a big effect on your bottom line however this is a great place to start now here to achieve that because you, you need to earn a little more because of commissions five scalps by six steps will get you there instead of four so you need to go for that extra trade but I think you'll see in a moment there's more than enough trades to go for so once again we start off we're making 20 a day 100 a week once we double our money to 700 we can then start trading two then three then four and once we get our account up here we then want to jump over to the big contract so here's what it means time wise time is going to pass anyway so let's just say here you start with the micro contract 50 cents a day sorry 50 cents a tick based on $20 a day in 16 weeks our account has grown to where we can now switch over to the NQ we now instead of 20 a day we want to be earning 200 a day in 11 weeks we now are up to our 10,000 week now to get there it's taken us 27 weeks to get there starting off on the micro so basically around six months where will you be financially personally in 27 weeks it really comes down to really putting in that and it and it does take two hours a day minimum now you'll see on most of my videos that I'm wrapped up within 30 minutes however you have still got to prepare you've got to be and you may hit a market where it's very quiet at the time okay I could probably sell a, a ton more of my programs if I bumped it up and said this is easier in and out 30 minutes but that's not realistic traders okay you've got to check the news there's a few things you have to do all easy simple but it takes a bit more than just sitting in front of your computer
so just before we go to the charts and just examine these trades and we'll look at what the market is doing right now as well there are some things that we need to check each and every day because they will make a massive difference to your trading these may be totally foreign to you to a new trader if you don't understand this language but that's okay it's really straightforward you just need to be trained on these so we've got some critical areas now we've all heard of, of, of indicators indicators are there to indicate what price may do but then we've got what we call predictive indicators where it predicts where price is going or forward indicators because so many professionals we trade them like pivot levels which is based upon levels from yesterday the prior days open high low and close levels major EMA such as 89 and 200 intraday swings the current days high and low and round numbers on certain markets which I won't get into here today the bottom line they're easy to learn but you'll be amazed at the difference they make to your trading so let's go to the charts and you'll see there for an example on the charts uh, I was targeting the low of day with two of the trades okay so let's go and have a look at that now by the way just one thing I did prepare this I just wanted to show you here what if you went for 300 a day look at this here you're there in seven weeks earning over well, 12 grand a week on only 10 contracts compared to 11 weeks that's just that extra $100 a day now if you're willing to put that two to three hours in you can do this okay with the right training taking the time but once again you've got to give the time to learn a master of setup so let's get to these and let's get to the setups right now so uh, wrong screen let me go to this one here we go and let me just scroll back a little here so let's just start here now first of all I know a lot of members will be watching this so just here and I'm actually doing it a video today on the AC 14 and what that means for non-members watching this in the public this is called the anchor chart one there are four indicators that we have when they all line up it's excellent for identifying reversals but remember on that slide where I showed you you need to know where your 89 and 200 EMAs are remember I said you want to know where you're open are we high and low here's the low here's a 200 see how we got there we bounce remember the 89 I had there 89 and 200 we bounce we bounced off for low we bounced off for low there are certain magic numbers and that's what I prefer to call them and levels where we bounce off them each and every day now there here are the three key considerations we need to think of when we take a trade where's my entry where's my stop loss go and I'm just going to see if I can maybe might be better if I do that so where's my entry where's my stop loss go and where's my target so let's start with this one up here now as a scalper I use fixed targets that's what I prefer to do I might adjust them slightly like down here I'll just explain in a moment and here but overall I prefer to use fixed targets I like to get in get out get that cash register ringing however that doesn't necessarily mean it's a right way to do it all the time because when you've got deep pullbacks there and here you go for a larger target you can um, bank a lot more money if you're willing to sit through some of the little pullbacks etc I prefer to get back in get out and get back in that's my style okay so with this one we call this a 3b I entered this trade down here um, at the low of this fourth candle I stop I had a fixed stop and by the way I'm using a fixed stop on here of 14 ticks or seventy dollars per contract okay and down we come I'm out thank you very much 
so there um, out with five lots so short five out with five I then had what we call a 13b and the 13b is really we want to make sure that it's a momentum trade and this was almost what we call one of those pivot magnet trades we were so close to the low of day it becomes like a magnet it attracts price and down we come and we had one over here down we come and we see this each and every day however there's a couple of other things on our anchor charts we want to make sure they're happening we just need to glance at them to confirm it so that was a nice sum bound and I got out right to the tick now nearly always especially with the NQ you will punch through on so say if you go to the low of a trading session nearly always you'll punch through okay so I got out right at where it was at the time so I could see what that level was um, I just adjusted my my uh, exit and I'm out okay trade number two trade number three okay this this is once again a no-brainer okay I had the, the trend on my side it's a no-brainer was actually a 3b and I got in a little bit late on this one so down we come and I targeted the exact low again and you can see there if I'd have stayed with I could have picked up another uh, eight uh, or nine ticks there uh, sorry two four could have picked up maybe another five ticks which is $25 per contract or $125 but I prefer to get out of that to guarantee I'm basically filled or I get out then trade number four was a counter trend trade and I could have taken this one here but I missed that one I call that a 1DA but a little secret on some, some of those and it works really well but I had a 2D down here I was telling members because just after this um, session I then had to start the live trading room and I fired off two trades on the CL on the micro CL which we were teaching that day and had two winners straight after that but I I almost got out of this particular trade because um, counter trend trading traders can be and it is higher risk you really need to know what you're doing now, I recommend all new traders stay away from CT trading initially counter trend trading so we then we, we rallied up nearly what well, I call these steps by the way so I rallied up nearly three steps come back down then I'm plodding along and it seemed like an eternity okay so it went along uh, it was 10 minutes not even that it was uh, what's that about eight minutes and I then get out so I got filled on one and got filled and and that's the other thing I kept tapping my target you know and then finally I got filled okay and so I was really quite happy to get out of that trade and then it continued now just then straight after that so I hit my target um, so I was up my 200 and then we had would have had another no-brainer to it was basically a 3b exactly the same as that one uh, almost identical with that one uh, off, off that one you then had a beautiful 2d off the low again now here is one that we then would have had a loss on okay there are a couple of things there we could have maybe kept this out but let's you know look we, we I think I would have taken that one and I would have been stopped then there was a no-brainer winner after that and another no-brainer winner after that so what you're after traders is between five and six of these step downs so each step down is worth ten dollars okay so each step so when you're trading five lots each step is fifty dollars at a time so it soon mounts up now let's just have a look at what's happening in the market now so just earlier uh, and I will go another five minutes on this okay so we're up to 33 minutes it's important you see this because this is how you trade now first of all the X open is the Globex open the first four or five minutes you're not going to take any trades usually it's too fast and the trades are more unreliable as it's finding what it wants to do by the way that cyan line there just there that's the prior days high but then we would have had a trade right there another one of these um, 21 34 B, uh, 13 B's which would have been a nice little winner it then reversed straight away okay and in fact 
here for members watching this that was a t20-1 and when you have ang it's called angulation a reversal we then had AC 13 so it was telling us go screaming go long okay we rallied up you may recognize that that was one of those three B's that we've just shown you on this previous day but it was a couple of days beforehand we then rallied down here we then had a bounce down here uh, wouldn't have been on that one by the way we then had another classic entry thank you very much and that went down one two three now my entry to so you know would not be until the low of a third candle then we had one two three four five six steps that is where we then look at a trade and say okay are we changing market direction because I've got two higher highs here and in fact France you know they shared one of his slides with he calls this the three musketeers okay one even though you had one there but he one there one here and one here that's what he calls it the three musketeers but anyway from there then I dropped a, a channeling very easy concept in dropping a uh, channeling let me just quickly show you this okay so all I do is go from there to there I then swing it back to there and it's just amazing how it works see how from that high to that high so it's it, I, I'm fascinated by trend lines and, and, and I don't use the trend trend lines and channels in training that much I show traders how to do it but I, I don't actively use them all the time I might use it as a support thing to look at it does it help confirm because it can be very subjective but the point is then from there if we had have taken that one it rallied up okay you had with trend trades by the way that one there was going against the channel but you had a long there a long there along here but then look what happened there right up to the top of the channel again and there is another one of those three B's I was telling you about okay that's what we call a 34 B now we then come down we then break the channel this is always going to be what we call a danger zone just here traders you always want to be very very careful when you hit these areas why well what direction are we going to go in we've got a flat 200 a flat 89 now I know we can look at this and say hang on I've got a higher low yes we could take this trade but what about if you're a new trader what I want to see here is do I make a new higher high and do I make a new higher low aha beautiful new higher high new higher low I'm now going to take that trade one two three four five six seven easy now I'm looking for a pullback back to either the yellow or the cyan uh, I didn't get that pullback okay so let's just see what happens there okay now uh, I've got a lot of divergence here so I'm going to sit this one out look the point is here uh, and just their traders here I do have a long and what happens there are oh, very good okay so traders the amount of opportunities that you have uh, on the NQ are incredible um, and each one of those moves as I said is worth ten dollars or a dollar if you're starting on the micros now traders what's absolutely critical is you follow the rules you set a realistic time frame in mastering the art of day trading unfortunately too many traders will start to read the material what's the video and they're pulling a hair out after a couple of days it can be a bit initially like learning how to um, how, learning how to uh, um, speak a new language but I reckon it's a hell of a lot easier than that so traders uh, there's some incredible opportunities in the market but if you're going to learn how to day trade whether it be stocks futures Forex I've got the setups for you you've just got to learn how to do it the right time the first time so once again you can come and join me for $197 which also includes eight live sessions if you can't attend those live sessions they are recorded as well there's all the, there's dozens of handouts there's actually 34 powerpoints now I've got in my program for, but relax you don't have to learn them all you've only got to really master two 
key setups both of them are patterns you start from there and develop from there and you may never um, include any other patterns you might for an example stick with the 2b for 34b maybe the t28 the pivot magnet trade because that kicks butt as well but um, uh, if you're a brand new trader once again um, you know we, we get you started on just a couple of setups and go from there so traders hope you picked up some ideas uh, from here but once again there's some great money in the market trading the NQ so traders I'll see you in my next video or better still I'll see you in a training class and as always traders I love day trading